striving to create some measure of refinement in the human species. And it is here on this very island that I have found the very essence of the devil. What do you mean? I have seen the devil in my microscope and I have chained him. And I suppose you could say in a sense metaphorically speaking, I have cut him to pieces. The devil, Mr. Douglas, I found, is nothing more than a, a tiresome collection of genes. And it is with great assurance that I can tell you that Lucifer, son of morning, is no more.
hand with the rest of the things? Well, no, that's all right. The others will take it. The others? The Islanders? Yes, the Islanders. You know how Mr. Douglas is just trying to be polite. He just wants to shake your hand. This is the most outrageous spectacle I have ever witnessed. Look at yourself. I understand that I must be shocking to you. However, I must also point out I have an allergy to the sun, and that's why I put this medication on. Look at these people! Look at him! Mr. Douglas, I don't think that I have the intellectual ability to condense 17 years of study and experiment into... 17 minutes of explanation. For the moment, it will have to suffice to say that the people that you witnessed before living under my care and protection are animals that have been fused with human genes in the course of a series of scientific studies designed by myself. Wow. Has it ever occurred to you you might have totally lost your mind? I mean, this is just... Satanic. Judge not, Mr. Douglas, that ye be not judged, for by these judgments shall ye also be judged, and let he who hath not sinned cast the first stone. There is no peace, saith the Lord, unto the wicked. I think perhaps this is not the time to continue. We will have dinner at eight o'clock. I hope that you will be in another state of mind that will be slightly more receptive. This is a true record of what I saw. I set it down, leaving out only the latitude and longitude of the island as a warning to all who would follow in Moreau's footsteps. Most times I keep the memory far in the back of my mind, a distant cloud. But there are times when the little cloud spreads until it obscures the sky. At those times, I look about me at my fellow men and I'm reminded of some likeness to the beast people. And I feel as though the animal is surging up in them. And they're neither holy animal nor holy man, but an unstable combination of both. As unstable as anything Moreau created. I go in fear.